my name is Laverne Cox and I'm from Mobile, Alabama. Until recently, I have had a tremendous amount of shame about the bullying I experienced as a child. Um, whenever um, something would happen and my mother would find out, she would yell at me and say, well, why didn't you fight back? Why, 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 why are you fighting back? And then she would also say, um, what are you doing to make them treat you like that? So I felt like it was my fault. We took the bus to school um, every day. I have, I have a twin brother, and um, the bu they the kids couldn't um, beat us up on the bus um, because the bus driver was sort of watching in the rearview mirror. But we knew that as soon as we got off the bus, we had to take off running, or or um, we get beaten up. And um, uh, for years, I joked that I was a very fast runner a as a child, um, and it was sort of my way of deflecting from how painful it was to sort of feel like. I was always in danger. Up until that point, everyone was telling me that I was a boy, I was eight years old, and I was just, I was convinced that I was a girl. The therapist told my mom, and she, she yelled at me, that, you know, boys are this way and girls are this way, and there was just this big thing, you know. And um, I, I, again, internalized a lot of shame about the way I was thinking about myself and, and about who I was. I loved to dance as a kid. I was always dancing around. Um, I would dance in the supermarket. I would um, just dance everywhere. We went back when PE was in schools. Um, when the kids were doing free play, I um, was off dancing to music that was always in my head. And I was always sort of, um, you know, had characters that I was playing and making up. And so, so I begged from five years old to eight years old to um, be in dance classes. And my mom finally found a program for me. And I, I believe that that saved my life. I, I, um, I did try to commit suicide once um, when I was about 11 years old, um, unsuccessfully. But I, if I didn't have um, school, my mom's a teacher, and, 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 and education and reading and um, something that I loved and that was good at, um, I don't think I would have survived. I didn't feel safe at all as a kid. And I've had moments like that as an adult, but the difference with me as an adult is that I have, have support now. I have people in my life who um, support and validate me as who I am. As a kid, when kids were saying all these awful things about me, I thought that that was the truth of who I was. And as an adult now, I find myself wanting to go back into, oh, if people are saying this about me, it must be true. But then I'm like, well, no. I have people around me who are supportive and who are amazing, who love me, who are like, no. What these people are saying about you is not who you are. And I know that that's not who I am. This past Christmas, my mom and I, we were just, we were just talking and, we hadn't talked about the bullying um, stuff, but you know, she's my mom's very aware of what's been going on in the news with all the bullying stories. And she, um, it just sort of came up, and she just said, um, just out of nowhere, she just said, "I'm sorry. Um, I didn't know how to. Um, I didn't know what to do. I'm sorry that I didn't." Um, know how to deal with it. She, she had her way and she thought that was the way and um, it didn't work. And she loves me, you know, and she supports me and she's proud of me and um, that's all I ever really wanted um, as a kid is to have my mom be proud of me. Um, that's all I wanted and um, she is. So um, that's kind of amazing.